Hey everyone, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. This week we are doing the hobo spay. Really simple pattern, really effective, old, I wanna say 50s pattern, Charles St. Pierre, really easy to tie, so let's get into it. So I've got an old hook in the vise that I didn't particularly like, I think it's a little heavy wire. Great way to use hooks that you're not gonna to use to tie on is to just use them as shanks. So I've just clipped that, put that in the vise, that's a size two. We're gonna cut off quite a bit of that anyway, it's a pretty short fly. Um, so we're gonna start our thread about the eye, work our thread back. All right, hook, we've got a size two. It's like one of those long bait hook type hooks. Gamagatsu. And um, I'm going to tie this in down on this fly just because there's no there's no weight on this fly to kind of act as a, what would you call that? You know what I mean? As always, I don't feel the need to double wire back on itself. I literally just landed a steelhead three days ago on that intruder, which uh, has the wire just like that with some super glue. If you're curious, there's a video on the channel about it called Swinging Flies for Big Winter Steelhead. And as always, the wire is just long. Well, not as always, because intruder wire will be longer, but the wire is just long enough to change the hook on this pattern. Ice stub. Oh, ice stub midnight fire. Pretty sparse. We don't need a whole lot for this back piece. It's kind of just like a, almost like a tail on this fly, but it's going to be under the marabou. Spin that up. Wire brush. And then that is going at the back and you are not making a dubbing ball as I go forward, pulling back fibers. And we're moving on. Guinea. You can see I've already separated these fibers back. I've pulled off all the fluff. Any dyed guinea you want, you could use classic white and black. Work that feather all the way up. Come back with the thread, another dubbing loop. And in fact, that might even be too short, but I think we'll be okay. So this one's slightly longer dubbing loop, a little bit more dubbing because we are going to space it out in that dubbing loop. I always like to put my tool in first, OPST dubbing tool. Dubbing goes in. Now I'm just going to separate that out three inches. Should spin up to about the right amount. Make sure the guinea doesn't get caught in there. You know, any loose fiber loves to get caught in dubbing loops. This one I'm not going to worry about picking out. I actually like it to be a tighter loop because of the fact that we're wrapping guinea over this. If you get all those fibers going crazy, it can be a little bit unruly. Okay, we're good right there. Always stop an eighth of an inch before you think you need to, because small heads on flies are cool. We tie that in. We're gonna do a thread switch. So just whip finish that off. Now we're going in with a dot orange, much finer thread. The reason I did that now is because we're done with our dubbing loops. Now you could tie this with Ada all the way up. I just wouldn't use a dubbing loop. I would spin the dubbing straight onto the thread. This is kind of going to act as the supporting shoulder for our marabou. Lighter thread. Just don't pull as hard. Wax your thread. And that will trap stuff. Perfect. Important part here is that it's extremely flexible. I like to go halfway down the stem. So you don't want a feather where just the top part's flexible and then you have this big thick stem. Try and find the most flexible, small stem, small spine feather you can. All right, we're tying in our marabou. Work it forward with five. Grab the top, pull it back. Work back with five. That's going to secure it in a way that doesn't make it bulky, but you're not going to be able to pull that out. Pull everything back in one direction. I like to train the fibers on my flies to you know, point the direction I ultimately want them to point. Now we're going to come forward with this feather slowly, just making sure you're not trapping any fibers, holding everything back with each trap, and one in front of the next. Now, as I'm getting close to the uh, eye of this shank, I do want to end about an eighth of an inch before it, because you have some more material materials to put in. So I'm just going to call that the last wrap, and we are going to pull off some of the fibers there and then we're gonna capture that spine. Come in, cut the excess. Now you can see what a good job that guinea is doing of supporting the marabou. Three strands of flash, any color you want. We're going for kind of a cool toned black. So I've got pearl, blue, and purple. And then I'm gonna tie those in long because I wanna control them after. So I'll go an inch past the end of the fly. We're gonna tie that in right on the side. Three loose wraps, and what that allows you to do just pull them all tight and adjust right where you want them before you close them in with some tight wraps. Now that we've got those 
tied in on that side. We're just going to pull them over to the other side and capture them over here with three to five light wraps and then same thing. So you don't even have to cut these. You could just fold them over to the other side, pull them up to where you want them to sit, and then capture them with your tight wraps. As for the length of these, when this marabou is wet and fully extended, I want these to come off a half an inch past the marabou in the back, kind of like tentacles. And I'll cut them all at slightly varied lengths, like that. Guinea, we've just got white. We're gonna take the longest stuff we can find, which would be these guys. We're gonna put eight. So you're gonna grab two. That's gonna be the top. And as always with my guinea, I like to flip them, turn them, so that the fibers don't grab each other. Those are getting laid down right on top. And in fact, I trim the end ends so they're completely even. And then just like you would trap a hair wing in, I trap those guinea spines in. So there's nothing to trim after, if that makes sense. You're literally capturing, you know, right at the head of the fly. Two more pieces of guinea. Trim the ends the exact same length. Tie them in right next to the flash on the side. Not over, just right next to, under, just like that. Flash there, guinea right under it. Bottom, same thing. Now we've made it all the way around the fly. 45 degree changes, and I'm just capturing the last side on my side. We're gonna whip finish. Black hobo spay, nice little neat orange head. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more swinging videos and steelhead fly tying videos. See you in the next video, later.